Hello everybody, welcome here to Vlogmas Day 2. I am feeling so much better than yesterday, which makes me feel so thankful. <laughs> I probably mentioned it, but it was so weird. Like, probably around 2 o'clock, I just felt better. Um, I still have like, I can't explain it, but I feel like there's something in my throat and it's kind of like, let me do the swallow test. It doesn't hurt, it just feels like there's something there. So, I don't think it's strep, which is like huge. <laughs> I'm so thankful for that. Um, but I'm just kind of riding with it. I feel good being in my office and working again. And so I'm just, you know what, going to keep going. Um, I brought myself a tiny little drink. This is the True Kombucha, uh, the Nordic Berry. Have you guys heard of this brand? I don't, I don't know how to say it, but it's a Nordic Berry flavor. I thought that I would bring in something to drink because we are going to be, well, let me try it. Wow, I don't know. Good, but kind of not. I like kombucha. I like that weird sort of like, I don't know, acidy flavor that it is, but I could get used to that. So, kind of tastes like apple juice. Anyway, um, I wanted to do something a little bit different today. Yesterday was kind of like a easy chill day and I thought today we could go through my November favorites. I love doing favorites videos. What? Sorry. No, come here. What are you doing? I just wanted to see what you were doing. Can I have one of those cookies? Yes. <laughs> They're so good. Where have you been hiding them? They're amazing. I'm not going to tell you. Oh, you, you've been hiding them? I've been hiding them because you'll eat them all. They're so good. Yeah. Do you mm -hmm. need my help for something? Mm -hmm. I'm just doing my favorites video. Love you. I love doing favorites each month. I feel like it's a nice way to just kind of end the month, recap everything, and share what I've been loving. So... I thought we could do that today, <laughs> um, kind of switch off. I'm thinking my schedule for Vlogmas might be like one day a vlog, one day kind of a sit down chatty video, kind of like this. I don't know, we'll see how far we go with that schedule. But for now, this is what's happening today. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. If you do, give the video a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you here for future videos and for Vlogmas all month long. I would love to have you stick around. So we'll dive right in. My first category is gonna be beauty and skincare. I have a couple things that I have been loving the month of November and I'm really excited to share them with you. So the first thing is actually a beauty makeup related item and it is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I absolutely adore this tinted moisturizer. I feel like it's not even a tinted moisturizer, at least for me, it gives me really great coverage. I have it on today. Um, it's just a nice, even coverage. And I I wanted this on the days where my skin is kind of good, or maybe I want to give it a little bit of a break, but I still want to put something on my skin to really even out my skin tone, make me feel more alive and awake. So I picked this up, and honestly, it's been like my everyday foundation, even though it's not. I feel like it's a really great kind of medium coverage at least for me like there are some days where i have to go in with a heavier concealer on like days where i have tougher spots which i knew i was gonna have to do anyway but for just a tinted moisturizer it has been doing the job so well so beautifully so yeah i've just been loving it like i said it's a nice like medium coverage for me and it's not like super dewy not super matte kind of nice baseline and just a really nice everyday consistency which i really have been loving and especially in the winter it can get a little dry so it's nice to have something with hyaluronic acid kind of a little bit more hydrating um so yes i've been loving it so much it's been such a nice surprise and before i get into everything else i will say everything that i mentioned i will have linked down below if i can find it some of these things will be affiliate links and if you guys want to shop them i would really appreciate it it doesn't change the cost of any of these items it just gives me a little bit of money back from shopping my links so i really do appreciate it when you guys use those but there's no pressure at all i just have them there and when i can use affiliates i do just wanted to make that disclaimer um the next item is a skincare item and this is my new favorite thing i will say i found this in like the last two days of november but i'm including it because i'm already obsessed with it so this is the elf happy hydration cream and and I have been absolutely obsessed with watching Hiram on YouTube. He is like skincare god, knows everything. I think he just does a really great job of finding affordable skincare, but also just like really breaking down ingredients. And I don't know, sometimes I watch people and I feel like they're only recommending things for their skin type, which I think is 
of course understandable it's hard to <laughs> please everybody when you don't know who's watching you and what their skin type is kind of like so anyway I know that it's very hard but he just does a really great job and I love all of his recommendations and this is a drugstore recommendation of his and I tried it and it's absolutely amazing it is so thick and luscious I can't even tell you and it's so affordable I think it's like $12 which is always really nice I love incorporating drugstore products into my skincare and I will say this is a perfect moisturizer for the winter time and for nighttime I think it's a little too thick for me to use during the day I'm not super dry so I don't need something so heavy during the day but I have used it um, in the morning and it didn't really affect my makeup but I just felt like it was way too heavy for me but at night this is perfect because it's getting dry I like to hydrate and moisturize a little bit more during the winter and this has just been my favorite moisturizer ever like I said I picked it up the last couple days of November but I had to include it because it has been my favorite moisturizer ever since I texted my sister right when I tried it and I was like you need this <laughs> so yeah it's just been a really great addition to my skincare this winter and has been helping me through the drier months my next category is fashion and it could just be me but I'm kind of in a little bit of like a funk right now with my clothing I feel like nothing is really calling to me or I don't want to put anything on or even when I'm shopping I just don't it's like I put things in my cart and then I'm like oh I'll just wait I don't need it like I don't know why I'm not feeling the urge or the motivation to buy anything new or to dress like I just don't feel creative in anything that I wear um so I don't have any like clothing items to share because I feel like for the majority of us it's just been loungy clothes while I work from home <laughs> so there's really nothing new on my radar if there's something that you've been loving and enjoying I would love to have you put it down in the comments so I can kind of get some inspiration from you and maybe check out some of your recommendations but as far as fashion goes nothing but I do have a jewelry piece that I wanted to share and I talked a little bit about this in a couple vlogs but I am wearing them today I've been wearing them every single day and they are my Majori croissant hoops I love them they actually kindly gifted me these earrings they don't have anything to do with this video but they did give them to me so I do want to make that clear but I am just so in love with them and so thankful that they sent them to me because I'm someone who can kind of get a little bit lazy with my jewelry you guys notice like I wear the same two necklaces every single day I always have my ring on and I always have like my two earrings in and usually I just love having a gold hoop now I have always had like really cheap earrings I don't know my ears don't really get sensitive to them so I don't ever need <laughs> I don't ever have the need to like spend a lot of money because I'm like allergic I'm not allergic and I just continue to buy cheap earrings but I love having just like cute little dainty hoops in my ears and so I knew that I wanted to get these from Majori I hear everyone talking about this brand they're really affordable and they're really great pieces so that's what I like about it it's kind of a nice little jump from your Target, Amazon, all those things, but you're not like breaking the bank sort of thing. That's kind of how I like to shop. So they have just been my absolute favorite. I have been keeping them in my ears every single day and they're just like the perfect everyday earring and like I said I love a like dainty sort of earring I'm not really someone who has like statement earrings I'm just too lazy for that and I'm like not going anywhere so these are perfect and they're very comfortable to wear and I thought I would just highlight them because they truly have been an absolute favorite of mine all of November and they will continue to be until I get more exciting and change out my earrings my next favorite is a house favorite and I think we actually got these in October but I kind of forgot about them and I was like how have I not talked about these so if you follow Jaclyn Hill then maybe you've seen she always talks about her lights around her house behind her TV they just like elevate her coziness so I was showing Sebastian all of her stories of the lighting and Sebastian wanted to get some fun like lighting for his office and so we also decided to get something for behind the TV and it has truly changed the game I did not think that I was going to love I'll have to insert a little picture because I realized I can't hold these but um I did not think that these would change anything too much like I knew that it was like a cute vibe and all of that but it honestly has elevated the way I I watch TV and I love it so much so they're just these little strips of lights that we got from Amazon you can get um there's like a variety of pricing we kind of got the cheaper ones just because 
I don't know. We're not like, su like I said, we're not like super techy. So I didn't even think that this would change too much. I just kind of wanted a vibe. Um, but Sebastian's parents do have the really pretty lights that kind of automatically change with the scene of like whatever you're watching, which is very cool. And I just really love it. But ours don't change color um, to whatever the TV screen is showing. It just like stays whatever you put it on. But I'm telling you, for $11, it is so worth it and so cozy. It just changes everything. So I always love to put it on like the warm, cozy setting. And it just kind of helps give some like depth to your TV. I don't really know how to explain it, but it really has been my favorite thing ever. Once it gets dark and we kind of have our TV time, I love putting on my candles. And now we have our Christmas tree lit. And then I turn on my little behind the TV lights. And it's just the perfect cozy atmosphere. And a especially during the winter months when you're just like cozying up, watching a film. I just absolutely love it and it is completely a game changer. So I have been doing a ton of reading within the last couple months. I don't know what it has, like, it's just completely taken over me and it's my new favorite thing to do. I've been finding such amazing books to read, so many recommendations, and it's just been fun to kind of read what everyone else is reading online and on TikTok and YouTube. Like, there's just so many amazing books out there that I've really been enjoying kind of consuming all of that. And so in November, pretty much like the first three days of November, I finished this book and I can't even believe how much I loved it so much. So this book is Verity by Colleen Hoover and I, like I said, read this in three days. It was so fast, such a page turner. I remember this was the first time I've ever really read a book where I needed to speak to someone about it. So I just would tell Sebastian everything I was reading. <laughs> so I kind of felt bad because I really wanted him to read it because it was such an amazing page turner thriller. Like it was so good. So just a quick little thing about this book. It's all about a struggling author who gets this really great opportunity to help like a huge best-selling novelist finish out her series because she's had an accident and blah, 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 blah. Basically, I know I'm like not describing it well. I just don't want to go into too much detail, but basically um, she finds this manuscript from the author as she's trying to like go through notes and kind of piece together um, the next coming novels. Um, but she finds this manuscript from the best-selling author and it's all about kind of like these dark, twisted stories of, the of her life and like how she views her children and her obsessive like love for her husband and you just find that like what else I'm trying to think oh and so she's just like yeah finding these like horrible things about what the author has written about their life and she falls in love with her husband and she doesn't know whether to tell the husband about this manuscript or keep it from him or just all these things there's just so many twists and turns I literally cannot explain it. I know I didn't explain it super well because I'm not great at doing that and I don't want to spoil anything. But if you've chatted with me on Instagram, I've probably already told you to read this 50 billion times because it's so good. It completely consumes you. It's a little spooky, I found. Like there are some parts where I literally was like looking in my room like I was spooked. <laughs> um, but it's just really entertaining, super fast read. I love the way that Colleen Hoover writes her novels. This was the first book I've read of hers and I've already read two so far. I have another one coming. Um, and it's just nothing, it's nothing like she's ever written. I know that it's definitely um, not like her other novels, but it's so good. And it was my favorite book of 2020. By far, I read it so fast. Like I said, I couldn't stop talking to Sebastian about it. I would tell him every like, new find that I would read about and just all these twists and turns. It's just so good. Yeah, it's a great book to read, super quick to consume, and I absolutely loved it. My next category is like TV and entertainment, and I have just been completely obsessed with The Crown. I know everyone has, but I will say a lot of people are not watching the full seasons. They are only going to season four, which is Diana's season, which I totally understand. I know that that is like the most hyped up season, the most controversial season. Everyone wants to see this season because it's Diana and it's pretty much what we've all been waiting for. But no one, I feel like so many people are starting from season four and it's absolutely killing me. Um, but anyway, <laughs> that's besides the point. I remember starting The Crown last year when a couple of my coworkers mentioned it, said I would like it because of course I love anything from England. Um, and I remember starting it and I think I got to like 
episode three of season one and then I stopped because I just it, it didn't really get me which I don't know why but it didn't like captivate me yet and then this year is when season four came out which is Diana's season and everyone was talking about it but I had heard from some people online that you have to watch every single season even though the characters do change at season three I did still hear that it's so good regardless and you need to just power through and watch all the seasons so I'm on season three I'm almost done with it actually so I'm so excited but it really has been such a beautiful amazing show and it is so good in every single episode there's something that happens and I immediately have my phone nearby because I know the second I end that episode I'm gonna have to like pause it google it see if that really happened like compare the episodes to the real life like it's just so funny how much I've just been diving into the history of England and all of these people um, I will say season one kind of did not drag on but it, I definitely had to like keep like forcing myself to watch it and I don't really know why I think it's just because it was set so far in the past um, and some of the characters I didn't really know who they were so it was kind of confusing and it was just like losing me um, and it's definitely not a background show I will say I definitely have to like be sitting down watching it paying attention um, but it is so beautifully made and I just love it so much so like I said I'm almost done with season three so I'm very excited very nervous to finish it because I just loved it I loved like it's a perfect cozy night sort of show it's very like dark and grim and I just love it with my tv lights it just works so perfectly so I definitely recommend it definitely recommend starting from season one like I said I know it's tempting but it's just so worth it and it's such a beautiful show and the actors are absolutely incredible and I'm just fascinated by it so that has been my favorite thing all of November and continuing on to December I just love it so much Okay, and my last favorite is a food favorite, which I'm pretty sure you guys already saw so much and snacking on, <laughs> but I love every November and December when these come out. It just makes me so happy, and I just know that it's cozy Christmas time, and it just makes my heart so happy. So these are the Walker Pure Butter Shortbread Cookies. Now, these are absolutely so good. They are so thick. I can't even tell you. They are so <laughs> I just love them. They come in this cute little pack. It's kind of messy. I'll get one out for you guys so you can see. So here's just like, look at that. Look at that thickness. That is yummy. And what I love to do, they're really great on their own, but what I love doing, this is just like the British in me. I love taking my black tea, dipping this in, and then having my tea and having my butter shortbread. It's so amazing whenever you have like black tea. I personally love having something a little bit sweet on the side to kind of cut through the bitterness of the tea. And this is just everything. It is so perfect at like four o'clock when you need a little bit of energy. I get myself a black tea and a Walker shortbread and it is so perfect in everything. So that has been my new favorite snack of November and December. It's just the perfect winter treat and I look forward to it every single year. So I'm pretty sure I have been chatting for way too long about all these favorites, but it's just my favorite time of the month to be able to recap all of these things that I love and share them with you. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this, a little switch up from a daily vlog. Like I said, you guys will see me all December, so subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on a video this month and give the video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys right back here tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye!